here we have Claudine Wolf's new basic. As you can see, she's in the third wave packaging, like the others. So we have her purple tiger prints and her paw print zipper next to her skelet there. Turn the box around. And here we have her school report. And we now are proud to announce that we officially have all of the new second basics. So we'll get her out and show her briefly on the backing. And here she's on the backing card. As you can see over here, it's another one that was actually sellotaped in. So there's Claudine. Her new diary the back of her stand which is very purple this time and then her school voted most likely to is most likely to get her howl on which sounds strange when you say it in a British accent I'm never going to say that again in my life <laughs> so we'll get her off of the backing still waiting on um, the decision of whether to keep showing the inside or to just scrap this part of the video so post in the comments and um, we'll put her on our stand and here is Claudine out of the box her hair is up this time I think it's the first time she's actually had her hair up and it's a lot longer than it was in her first basic because I think it was about this length just down normally in her last basic and this is actually tied in a quite high side ponytail. She has her fringe sewed to the side of her head and her earrings, she has two different sets of earrings, there's two separate ones here with a smaller one at the bottom and a larger one on top. And then this one has the larger one on the bottom and the smaller one on top and there is a chain linking the two of them. And um, when we first got her out of the box, the bottom hoop wasn't actually attached to her ear, it was stuck in her hair back here somewhere. But the hole was still there and it was pretty easy to get back through. So it should be easy enough if you wanted to swap earrings around or anything. And her makeup, I believe she's the only one of the girls to do this. Um, rather than having two layers of different colours, she actually has a kind of a curved arrowhead shape of purple, which may or may not be two shades, it's difficult to tell in this lighting, with a triangle of blue at the edge and then a light purple at the bottom. Um, on our Claudine, one of her fangs is slightly chipped. The paint's missing from her mouth. Try and get it to focus. There we go. The paint is missing from her mouth, so one of her teeth is missing from halfway down. But it doesn't look too bad. She is wearing a zipper as a choker necklace. You see it's closed on this time, on this side, and then open on the other side. So they've actually gone into quite a lot of detail considering it's such a small necklace. And then this, we thought, because of the yellow rim, kind of made it look like she was wearing a purple jumper 
with a teal vest underneath. But we're not sure if it would be that in real life, but it's definitely not on the doll. It's just teal straps attached to the inside of the seam. Um, the purple part of her top has black tiger stripes and gold cheetah spots. And the cheetah spots, as you can see, are glittery. See, it's reflecting light there. And then she has a chunky teal belt. And then she's wearing purple three-quarter length jeggings. Um, I'm sure on the picture on the internet for this outfit, she's actually wearing blue jeggings, like she was just wearing jeans. And I would have probably preferred to see her in normal jeggings, but no. Random's quite fond of the purple ones. So to each their own. And she has a kind of half wolverine claw, half knuckle duster with gold studs on. It still has the elastic band on it because I took the elastic band off and then it just kept on slipping straight off of her hand. So I put the elastic back on. And then her shoes. They have mass amounts of zips. Some of them are undone, some of them are closed. Um, it's basically the same design on each shoe but mirror image. So the same ones are done up and undone. And then the heel. I can't decide whether it's a fang or a claw. But either way it's a gold metallic curved shape. see it's very reflective there, you can see my hand in the reflection. And one of the heels, I'm trying to find which one it was, ah, there we have it. The metallic paint is slightly chipped at the top, but it's not really that big a deal, you can't really notice it from a distance. Okay, and that's it for Claudine's doll itself, so we'll go on to her accessories now. So we have the standard generic Monster High brush again, and this time it's a deep purple. This is the colour that I would have expected it to be in her first basic, but it was a kind of a reddish colour. So she actually does have a purple now. And then she has her bag. The straps on this just remind me of the shoes that she was wearing in her first basic outfit. If you remember, they were the black boots with the purple belts all the way around, all the way down. Okay, this bag does open and there would be room for you to store things in, because it's probably the biggest of all of their bags in the new line. So this bag actually does make sense for being able to open it. And the strap on hers is mainly black with some gold stripes. And then it has a black clasp. And then, like Cleo, she has one of these Monster High folders. And people who saw our review on the Day at the Mall dolls will recognise this symbol from the jewellery that they bought for Claudine. It has scratch marks on both sides. We're not going to open it because we don't want the same thing to happen with this as it did with our first new Clio. But the inside is basically the same as the Clio one, so if you want to see what it looks like on the note paper, then watch the Clio review. And then she has her new diary. And what she says on this one is, you'll find out what fierce really is if I catch you reading my diary. Okay, so that's the Claudine review. And that completes all of our reviews for the new basics.